Good morning. Welcome to the table of the Lord. I pondered the many avenues of thought to focus on how to best express this communion meditation in a way to hold our attention as to why we are Christians and to have us think of our first encounter with Jesus. Was it at an early age, middle, or later age? Was it casual, deliberate in search, or defiant and last resort? What was the circumstance? We all know the circumstances surrounding our first encounter with Jesus and the road we have traveled to get here today. Whether we are looking forward or backward, across a few years or many, it is Jesus who defines our path. We must choose to take it or not. Think of when it was and what the circumstances were when you had your first meeting. When we were searching, seeking, and crying out to God and Jesus, did we know he had died for us and why? Did we know he had conquered death and had won the battle for us? That he was offering and extending eternal life to us if we would only believe, repent, confess, and be baptized. How in a few minutes can I express the volumes of love God has poured out on us, except to look back across the years and now recognize the amount of patience, time, love, and prayers that current and and Christians of time past have poured out on me prior to my following Jesus. Except to say he created us and he died for us that we might have eternal life. Because in him we live forever. God chose us before the creation of the world that we might choose him through Christ and knowing he is our creator and he arose from the grave after dying on the cross for us. Let us always remember and never forget what he has done for us. Pandemic. It has the world consumed all methods of information transfer are jammed with its content. It is an enemy of mankind. It's invisible. You cannot see it or touch it. Much is not known about it as we try to define it. What is known about it is that it is harmful and can cause death. It is an event that is shaking the world and everyone is aware of it. We have had pandemics before, but none as important as this one because we are living in the midst of it. It is not in the past, but in the moment. Let us look back. What other events in the world have been so impacting on changing our lives? Can you think of any? The many wars, Vietnam, Desert Storm, Iraq, Korean War, World Wars I and II, the Civil War, the Revolution, 9-11 and the many terrorist attacks. Let me share with you one event that happened 2,000 years ago 
that makes this pandemic and all other world events pale in comparison. The birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. How can the world be so informed and reactionary about the virus that has the potential to take one's life and yet be so complacent about knowing Jesus and the gift of eternal life he extends to us. Jesus, who walked the earth 2,000 years ago and is with each of us today. So as we reflect on our first meeting with Jesus and our decision to follow him and we partake of the bread and cup let us remember what he did for us by willingly taking his place upon the cross his broken body represented by the bread a sacrifice for us and his blood represented by the cup spilled to cover our many sins. He and he alone is worthy of all worship, praise, honor, and glory. In closing, I would like to read Jesus' prayer to all believers in John 17, 20 through 26. This is just after Jesus had prayed for himself and his disciples and just before he was arrested. And Jesus says, My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me. May they be brought to complete unity to let the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I want those who have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory, the glory you have given me because you love me before the creation of the world. Righteous Father, Though the world does not know you, I know you, and they know that you have sent me. I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them, that I myself may be in them.